That high seas showdown between a Russian destroyer and a U.S. Navy guided missile cruiser in the Philippine Sea. That's the Russian ship appearing to steer dangerously close to the USS Chancellorsville as it was preparing for a helicopter to land on its deck. This photograph from a surveillance plane shows the two ships on what appears to be a collision course. The American ship taking emergency steps, waving that helicopter away and thrusting the ship into reverse. Tonight, U.S. officials are calling the Russian maneuver unsafe and unprofessional, even as Russia is blaming the Americans. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raditz, starts us off with what the images reveal. Tonight, the war of words over what could have been a catastrophe in the Philippine Sea. That ship you see, according to the U.S. 7th Fleet, is a Russian destroyer barreling dangerously near the USS Chancellorsville. Both vessels armed with missiles and powerful guns coming within 50 to 100 feet of colliding. So close, at one point, you could see Russian sailors who appear to be sunbathing. According to the U.S. Navy, this began around 11.45 while the American guided missile cruiser was maintaining a straight course as a helicopter was about to land on the ship. And that's when a Russian destroyer, the Admiral Vinogradov, which was traveling behind the Chancellorsville, sped up. Navy officials say the, quote, irresponsible and reckless actions of the Russian ship forced the Chancellorsville to wave off their helicopter and reverse all engines at full throttle. The behavior is un unsafe and, and unprofessional. We'll have military to military conversations uh, with the Russians. But the Russians claim this near miss was caused by the Americans who deliberately changed course without warning, forcing it to make an emergency maneuver. The Russians were clearly at fault here. The nautical rules of the road say that the ship being overtaken, in this case the U.S. Navy ship, has the right of way. We've seen Russian warplanes and warships doing alarmingly aggressive moves near U.S. military assets in the Black and Baltic Sea before. But why a Russian vessel would come so close to an American Navy ship near the Pacific is raising many eyebrows. And Martha joins us live now. Martha, as you've reported, there have been several close calls between U.S. and Russian forces, and the Navy does have a sense of what's behind them. Uh, they do, Tom. It is viewed as straight-up harassment, perhaps in this case a message of support for China, since U.S. ships pass by those disputed islands that China claims in the South China Sea. But these are exactly the kind of irresponsible actions that can cause accidents and lead to miscalculations, Tom. Martha Raddatz with the scenes from that high seas showdown. All right, Martha, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.